And we're gonna stick our hand inside of the hole. So it's gonna grab on. Oh crap. We've had a couple people lose fingers. What? Please be careful. I do not want to see you miss a finger. Oh, pull. He's pull it on. It's a big one. When I was little, there was this monster freaking giant catfish. Uh -huh. I've been trying to catch it my whole life. And you were here right now today, hoping he can help me catch this uh -oh, monster guys. catfish. What we're gonna do is we're gonna stick our hand inside of the hole. There's a massive fish that's gonna grab on, just like that. We've had a couple people lose fingers. What? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Holy crap, Raw fam. <laughs> Guys, I just went over there, I stuck my head in the hole, and this big old fish came flying out. Leah, is this the monster that you saw when we were little? Oh, heck no, we oh. want way bigger. All right guys, so if this is a baby, imagine how big the big one's gonna be. Raw fam, we're over here at this massive lake searching for a massive lake monster. Oh yeah. And guys, who knows what we're gonna pull out of a massive hole. Oh, I feel it for sure. Oh, she got it 100%. She had to have gotten it. Is that him? Got him. He got her. She got him. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I see it. It's a big one. Here we go. <laughs> oh, let's go. Oh. Was, I felt that one was big. Oh, be careful. Oh, no. That was him. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Now I know why you missed the giant sea monster when you were a little kid. You gotta hold on. If you need help, I'll help grab onto that next one. Because guys, we are after monsters today. We're not stopping until we get that giant. Let's do it. So we're making our way up and down all these banks and there's a bunch of holes that our buddy here knows about. So we're gonna stick our hand in and see if there's a big old fish. But I promise you all fam, I won't miss this one. <laughs> Maybe, who knows, fingers crossed. Hopefully it's a giant. Are you ready? Is it right here? It's right here. All right, Royal Fam, so the hole's right here. It's time to go in three, two, one. It's mine. No. <gasps> Bro, it's a giant. <laughs> Holy crap. I think it came up and grabbed onto my hand hard. I'm not missing him this time. It's gonna happen right now. <gasps> The giant raw fam! Holy crap! Look at that big boy. Holy crap. <laughs> raw fam, this is a freaking monster. Leah, is this him or is it was he bigger? Believe it or not, there's actually fish out here that are bigger than this monster That's big old catfish. Nice I have a feeling that there is bigger fish out here than this freaking Monster all fam. Leah, are you satisfied with this monster fish as the pond giant you're looking after? Oh no, you can do better than this. I have to stick my hand in a bigger fish Ugh, than this. Oh my gosh, Raw fam. Guys better stay tuned because this one is a monster. I believe it's Leah's turn. Hey camera girl, is this bigger than your biggest fish? Heck no. So I think we could do better. So we're gonna keep searching for that monster lake monster that we're at. So let's do it. Hey, what, what do you think is actually inside of this rock pile? There's one fish in here. We catch him every year. His name's Bluey. We're gonna let Leah catch him. I just stuck my hand in the hole. My hand's all red. I don't want to catch him. And Leah told me that she's down for the task. Just be careful. Please be careful. I do not want to see you miss a finger. Uh-oh, here we go, guys. Oh, oh, I feel it shaking. She get him? She's got him. So. She's got him. Is he a big one? I think my fingers are bit backwards. Oh, oh you got he's it. Hold on, it's a big one. Her hand is all the way in there because this oh. catfish is aggressive. Right. Oh, 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 is it gone? Yep. My finger bent. <laughs> yeah. I got my hand on. <laughs> no! Look at that. Look I stuck shaking. my hand in there because, believe it or not, that fish wasn't big enough. Raw fam, I am after an actual lake monster. Come on. 
go find her. I didn't I even put my nail. My yeah, opinion. I reached down there too. Look, I got a big old cut. Oh my god, your hand's shaking. Yeah, Leah's. Look at this. This is how. This is how deep her hand was inside the catfish's mouth, right there. So right now, my buddy's actually under the water checking a hole because he thinks that there could be a giant fish in there. I think that's the signal. There's a beast. So this is the hole, and we're going in in three, two, one. Ooh, ooh! You hear that? That was a big bite. That's a big bite right there. He's got him. He's got him. Oh! 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 oh, oh. oh. That's a beautiful. So I don't think this is the monster that we were looking for, but <laughs> it's a big one. It's a big one. Was this him? No, that's not him. So apparently this is the hole that Big Bertha always is inside. And um, is this probably its boyfriend? Bertha's out. That's that's definitely her boyfriend. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh crap. Wait, is there could there be babies already in this hole? <gasps> Come here. <gasps> What oh my the gosh, heck? it's so cute. Frankly, let me see. Um, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually get this little catfish. I knew there was a bunch of babies in there, and we're gonna see if we can grow this back at the Royal Fam, but we gotta get it on the boat and in the live well because we gotta ship it back to South Florida. So come on. All right, Royal Fam, so it's finally time. There's actually one hole out here that is known for catching the monster fish of the day, and I think that lake monster is actually inside. All right. Let's go get him. Hey, I'll see you guys at the hole. Come on. All right, guys, so Leah's down there. Is that him? Oh, she's out, it's out of the box. Pull it out, man. pull it out, let's go. We caught Big Bertha. He let's got messed go. Up. Look at him, he got messed oh, up. Oh, look at his hand. Oh my. I, guys, <gasps> this is the monster. He's we, look, he's growling. This is the monster. Is this Big Bertha? We got him. We it got was him. why we, we got, got him. him. We let's got him. Let's go. I was not expecting that this fish was as big as it was. But damn, oh, do not let go. I won't do know. not let go, I Big Bertha. Oh, 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 oh. He's barking, you hear him? Yeah, get, get in. Hear that? I love that. That's a big fish! Oh crap, it is. Oh crap. I got it. Oh crap, I got oh crap. Him. You better, don't let go of that big one. <laughs> it's a freaking monster right there. Just a freaking giant. Is this Big Bertha that you've been after? Yes, that's her. Oh my goodness, good job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Royal Fam, so we ended up catching the monster, but believe it or not, they get even bigger than this. So I think we're gonna try and come back very soon and get one even bigger. If you guys like that video idea, then make sure that you guys subscribe to the channel so you can get the updates on that new baby fish that we just put inside of the boat. Is this the freaking monster that you missed when you were a little kid? It's him, it's bigger now too. Jeez, so Raw fam, <laughs> this is the fish we were after and it's awesome that we're gonna be able to bring one of these guys back home to the Raw fam. So guys, look how big this fish is. Look at its mouth, look how big, it's bigger than her whole hand, Raw fam. No, 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 no. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, that is a giant. Alright, Royal Fam, it's time to say goodbye to big old Bertha. She's going home. We're gonna put her back in the hole we got her from so she can breed. Send her on her way. A big catfish like that could have hundreds of thousands of babies. And uh, we get her out of a big old rock pile. We need to send her right back where she came so she can breed and make even more babies, just like the one we're bringing back to the Royal Fam. So uh, let's get on that boat, guys, and uh, let's see our new baby pet. Let's do it. Hey, hey, let me in, let me in, let's go. Okay, okay, Hello. okay. Hey, what's up, Raw fam? Franklin? What's up, guys? So, we just got off the boat. Unfortunately, we had to cut the trip short because a couple animals at the Raw fam need our help severely. But we did bring something back to the Raw fam that I need to show you guys because we did catch a baby fish that I brought home from that lake for the Raw fam. For those of you guys that may not know, this right here is actually the monster pond, filled with monster fish from all around the world. We have sharks, we have massive catfish, and we even have pond monsters lurking in this pond. Don't take my word for it. Let's talk to some of our happy customers. Come on, pond monsters. Oh, under you, oh, under you, under you. Look at this thing. Oh my, oh. Oh, oh! Another amazing thing I love to do is get massive pond monsters from the wild and bring them back to my very own house. Every fish inside of this aquarium I have caught from the wild and have brought back 
to this pond and actually let them live. Come on, pond monster. Oh, crap. Come on, pond monster. Come on. There's a good boy. Come on. And we're actually training these pond monsters to come up and eat out of our hands. And the goal is to not lose a finger. Holy crap. So, more importantly than that, oh, we brought a beautiful big catfish back to the Raw Fam today to actually add to our collection. But Raw Fam, before we can take care of this big fish right here, some of the tortoises need our help. Behind me is the second largest tortoise breed in the entire world, an Aldabra tortoise. And unfortunately guys, I was out filming, trying to make a video for this YouTube channel, and I got a phone call saying that one of my turtles is severely injured. You know, it isn't every day that I get these phone calls, so it really struck me, and I got home as fast as possible. And I got left with this. Come down here. So this right here, is obviously a massive wound. You know, not every day do bad things happen at the Royal Fam, so with every negative, I wanna show you guys a positive. Oh, baby turtles, come on. Oh, look at this, see this? Look at that, you see those? Those are baby turtle eggs. And if you can get turtles to breed, that means you're doing an amazing job. But you can be doing an awesome job and not always have the best results, just like my buddy over there, Scar. All right, Scar, you ready for your medicine? Today I have a couple antibiotics that I'm gonna be putting on Scar, and then later we're gonna be digging up those baby turtles. So if you guys love animals and you guys love this channel, please like today's video, and trust me, you're gonna wanna stick to the end, because this guy, oh, he may be running, but, uh. He's gonna get flips upside down right now. Ugh. So you see all that white stuff right there? That is actually triple antibiotic and I have to put it on every day. This right here is scarlet oil. It is a disinfectant. You gotta wipe down the surface area like that. All right, you're good, baby. Come on, go on. Now she is eating, she has not broken down. This is just a part of what we have to do to save her life. So that wasn't too bad, right? That was the bad, that was the ugly. Raw fam, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, but it's officially time to take care of our new baby lake monster, and he's in this box. Oh! All right, Raw fam, you guys ready to meet the new addition to the Raw fam? There's some live fish on there, we got it packaged up perfect, come on. So this right here is actually a package from where we were making that video. Come right here. We're actually unboxing this massive box. I kind of already peeked in here. Is he doing all right? Come on here, baby lake monster. Oh, look at that, guys. Look at that. This right here is a baby, baby lake monster. These guys will get just as big as the monsters you guys just saw us catch. Four, five, six foot long. And he's going inside of this pond right here. This right here is what I got started with YouTube with. This is just an above ground pool you can get from Walmart. Guys, literally anyone can do this if you know what you're doing. Come on. All right, Raw fam, so this right here is the brand new lake monster that we're gonna be growing at the Raw fam. Guys, everybody down below in the community tab, what should we name the new lake monster? If we're gonna call her Nessie, or if we're gonna call her whatever, but welcome to your new home, Nessie. <laughs> Dang. Guys, that's what I love about YouTube. You guys are able to come on these amazing adventures with me and watch me bring home all these cool animals. But, Raw Fam, before we fix this pond right here, because clearly the pond's off. Guys, I showed you guys a couple baby turtle eggs, and my buddy Chris just showed up. It's time to obviously go off and um, collect a bunch of baby turtle eggs. Let's go meet our new baby turtle eggs, because eventually these things are going to turn into monsters. So, let's go meet Chris. Come on. So this is my buddy Chris. He's been keeping tortoises for over 30 years and he has a foolproof way to collect all the eggs and make them perfect. So Chris, what do you got going on here? We're gonna set them in some perlite. It allows good airflow. So we're gonna dig the nest up. We're gonna place the eggs in here in the same orientation that they exist now. If you roll the egg, the embryo can get crushed. <laughs> that sounds good to me. So we're over here and I found this bad egg right here and uh, it was kind of like a, like a no-brainer. This one's good. Okay, you wanna pick them directly up and then put them right in the perlite, just like that. And hopefully, if they're fertile, every single one of these 
will be a baby turtle. Holy crap, you there have a mother load. There should be 50. How many is it so far? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Wow, there's even more. This is the beginning stages of uh, potentially you guys going somewhere and buying a pet tortoise. This is how it all starts. Next phase is obviously incubating them, but there's even more baby turtles right there are eggs. And uh, it's pretty sick. These Holy look crap. These look good. They do? Yeah. Oh my God, there's even more. Oh my gosh. Oh my. How many eggs are there gonna be? There's almost 50 eggs already, and I still see more. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And you can't really oh. fake this because once they have the embryo established, if you turn them off of that yolk, the, 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 the egg will die. So this is right out of the ground and it's epic. <laughs> That's a lot of eggs. There's more. Oh my God, there's more. <laughs> oh my God. Just about it. 54 good eggs. 54, 54 good eggs. Wait, are you gonna tell them that these are ping pong balls and no. put them here? No, and this not. is all a joke. No, no, and I got proof that they're not ping pong balls, because look, come here. Look at that, look at the yolk Wait, in there. He's lying, they're ping pong balls. No. Look, there is an egg yolk in there, and uh, it was just a bad egg. But uh, 54, holy crap, Rolf fam. So we have a negative and we immediately hit you guys with a positive. We're trying to uh, get Scar up and going and get her good, but look at all of the baby turtles right there, all fam. How sick is that? So now we're all fam, we are going to go off and incubate all of these baby tortoises. I mean, this is epic. They're ping pong balls. No, they're not. And look at this, look at this guy. So this is actually a male and this is a uh, black Burmese mountain tortoise right here. And uh, potentially he might be the father. And look, he's gonna bite my foot. He's like, hey, stop stealing my eggs. <laughs> bye, Scar. Feel better, buddy. All right, bye, baby turtles. We're gonna see them over at the new place, but uh, he's gotta go, so we're gonna follow him in our truck. Yeah, I think these are gonna be fertile, Franklin. So what we just did is we candled them, and we're looking for veins. No veins yet, but the yolk looks good. Everything internally looks great. It's in the right position. Um, these eggs have been laid a few days ago. I can tell by looking at them. Okay, guys, so uh, long story short, we're just putting them in, inside of the incubator. And uh, this process is gonna kind of go passed over to Chris. He, just had a, he has a lot of experience doing all this cool stuff. So uh, we'll get back to you whenever it's all inside the incubator and it's ready to rock. So as you can see, all the eggs right there are completely Unvisible, they're covered in perlite, and uh, that's pretty epic. So, see you guys in about two weeks when we candle them again. All right, Roll Fam, so that was freaking amazing. We just got a bunch of baby turtle eggs 54 eggs to be exact. Hopefully, they all hatch. I, I have no idea what the hatch rate is. Comment down below how many you guys think. But if you guys come down here, this right here is the reason why the pond is not working, and uh, we have to go to Lowe's real quick and uh, get this little pump replaced. So let's go do it. Oh yeah, and for those of you guys that are worried about the fish, don't be worried for much longer. There's your dissolved oxygen with an aerator, bringing the water from the bottom up to the top to get a bunch of oxygen back in the water. So we're going to Lowe's right now. Franken, Franken, do you think we should test the pump before we leave? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, come right here. It broke a couple months ago, but I just cleared it out. Oh. Okay, so that's what I was worried about. I'm not too sure, but let's see. Oh. Not too shabby. Whoa, whoa! Watch out, camera guy. All right, guys, so this is a pump right here. I think we got it going again. Oh, crap. Is it gonna work? If you guys love all of our videos, the best way that you guys can actually help us is by watching the entire video and commenting and liking. But if you guys wanna do even more than that, you guys want to become an official member of the Raw Fam? Guys, go to rawfishing.com. We have all different types of merch and hats available right there below this video right here. But of course, Raw Fam, if you guys love everything we got going on, that is also your number one way of directly helping us out with all of these videos. Only exclusive members of the Raw Fam are allowed in here. This is where the magic happens. But guys, come here, come on. For the most part, it's a pretty small merchandise company. We have all different Raw Fishing t-shirts and we have our performance Raw Fishing merch. 
We have obviously all of the dry fits. We have our normal Raw Fam shirts, just so you can see. We got hoodies, we got hats, we got all accessories just like this. And today we're actually gonna be giving away some of the merch to some of the viewers in today's video. Show them the jaw shirt. Oh, the jaw shirt is so sick. If you guys look right here, this is actually a shirt that you guys can get on the website. It's literally jaws right there. Ah, the crazy large mouth bass. But if you guys wanna support a family owned company, but we also have like some of the best amazing like towels and blankets on the internet, like literally, we're trying to scale this guys and we're trying to get back to you guys amazing affordable products. So the best way that you guys can support us is 100% gonna always be watching the videos, completely liking and commenting, showing us all of the love and support. But if you guys also wanna take it up a notch and join the Raw fam, the merchandise right here is linked in the description rawfishing.com and I'm poking my head out there and I think the pond is actually up and running so come on Franklin is it running yeah and what we're also doing right here is we're actually like cutting the entire filter back restarting it and um, if you guys look right here there's a bunch of stuff like falling into the pond this all right here is called umbrella papyrus aka just a bunch of plants yeah we just have a bunch of plants that were dying and falling inside of the pond so if you guys want to actually see us go off and create this entire pond into an amazing lush ecosystem so I can start training up all these fish raw fam I think there's only a couple more things that we need to do but uh, this stuff is really hard to obviously cut, so I'm just gonna go back to my magic tricks because you know I love them. Three, two, one. Oh, look at that, guys. So this right here is the filter. Now all we're gonna need for the finishing touches is some of these epic little plants right here. Look at this. Everybody needs shade in order to live, including the fishies. A little bit more, just like that. Hope the turtles don't mind. Boom, that's pretty much it. Oh crap, I, I believe there is one last thing. Push all of the plants to one corner, okay? Watch this. Here, Mr. Minnows. All right, see them? If you guys look, there's a couple baby, baby, baby minnows in here, but I think that if we got a bunch of minnows, it would help the catfish, and it would help to make an epic little enclosure ecosystem right here. Well, fam, if you guys think that I should go off and turn this entire aquarium right here into a flush, amazing ecosystem, all you guys gotta do is like today's video. If we get 10,000 likes on today's video, we will go off and turn this into the Lake Monsters Dream Aquarium. So I hope you guys enjoyed, but Raw Fam, I think it's about time to wrap this video up. I love y'all, fam, we'll see you later. Hey.